Okay, we're back again to look at uh, another triangulated fitting, and this one is a off-center round-to-round or round taper. 12 inch diameter to 10 inch diameter uh, over a height of six inches. Now this one, uh, it's off-center, so that's one of our indicators. We can't use radial line. But again, if we looked at where the apex point may be, it's, it's gonna be a, a really far uh, way away. Because of the small change, in size okay so this one starts just like the other ones we're going to draw a full plan view get our element lines established uh, do some labeling okay so let's get started again i'm going to start with an xy axis and we'll get that To, let's see. Okay. And again, like I mentioned before, you can, because no matter which way you draw it, the line of symmetry, you'll always have one for a round round in at least one dimension, like one way. So you can get away with a half plan view. Uh, I just like to draw the full thing because really it, it doesn't take a lot of extra time. But it makes things a lot clearer as we're, as we're doing our drawing. Now again, this one I've set to my, uh, to my radius for my small end. And if I tick off, let's do it matching, I tick off my radius back inwards, I know where my radius point for the circle will be now. Okay, so I come and that's going to be tangent. Okay, we want to pick where our seam's going to go. And just like any other fitting uh, that we do, we try and always put it on the small side. There's, there are some exceptions to that. Uh, but it, in most cases, as a general rule, we'll put it on the short side, which in this case is going to be our vertical here. So we want our seam here. Uh, let's start with that as one, two. Now, again, we have a dot here, right, where, where it lines up exact. And a dot in the plan view equals true length in the elevation view. And the large end this time and my small is is even numbers or odd numbers on the outside so one three five seven i missed a spot here nine eleven thirteen and two four six eight ten twelve fourteen okay again i'm going to draw in some of my element lines here just to add some clarity Okay, there's my uh, plan view now complete. Got my element lines all in, in purple. Got my labeling completed and I'm zigzagging back and forth, back and forth uh, from one all the way to 14. Okay, so now again, we're gonna, I'll just scrub this one out. We know we got a six inch vertical height, but we're gonna go in and create our true length diagram now. Okay, so that's our true length diagram done now. You can see I brought in all my element lines. It is, it's fairly congested in here now, but see how I've swung some of these arcs outwards so I can get my labeling outwards. And all I have to do is follow the arc back 
and then pick up the true length there. So 6.7 follows back to here, and then the true length is in from the baseline here. Okay, that just, having it sprawn out like that just lets me uh, label it in a different way. I'm going to pick up everything that crosses the baseline here. Okay, so let's start our pattern. And we're going to start our pattern like our, our last round around is a vertical instead of a horizontal like a squared around. And again, I'm going to work one side because I'll run out of room otherwise. Um, <clears throat> so this one and, and any round around, we're going to work symmetrically. So we start at the, at the spot where we don't want the seam, right? And then we, we follow through and end up where our seam is. Okay, so I'm going to start at 13, 14, work around until I end where I want my seam. But like I said, I'm just going one way. You're going to go both ways. So you're going to work it exactly the same, both sides. Okay, left and right. So true length line 13, 14. There's 13, 14 there. I got the true length and, and I'll start tick that one off. Now I'm doing, I got my odd numbers on the big side and even on the small and I want my big on the bottom so it curves upwards. You do the same thing in reverse and it would go down but I always like to do it. So um, <clears throat> 14 is up here and 13 down here. True length 13, 12. And 12 is there, so we tick that one off right here. Again, you would go, you'd wanna go work at both sides and then we're gonna take our step off for the small end and step that off and we again both sides and that gives us 12. True length 12-11, there it is there and we're coming down this way again both sides. Large step off. Eleven. One. So connect the last two, one and two. Remember this is a half pattern. And then we're looking for that nice smooth arc again. Okay, we don't want to see the lumps and bumps in it, so we don't have a check like the squared around, but we want to see the nice smooth arc. Okay, it will be close to 90 degrees in this corner because uh, back to our elevation view, we had that flat edge there. Um, we're 90 degrees on that side, so this appears to be 90, so it should be kind of close to 90 in that spot too. And we see that there, we're pretty close to 90. Okay, that's a half pattern, you're going to come up this way as well with your full pattern. Okay, round round or round taper off center.